Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're going to fight Vulcan Martin Grimm. Well, he's attacked us, so uh, we have no choice. We tried to run away once, but um, yeah, so we're stuck fighting him. We're stuck fighting him now, which is a pain, because this stuff is scary. Uh, Hell Blaster volley guns are so good at dealing with cavalry. They really are. We only have a cavalry unit, and they have three. We need to get on top of these guys somehow. It's going to be a real pain, is what I'm getting at. This is going to be uh, brutal. It's going to be absolutely brutal. I'm not sure we'll win. We'll try, but uh, yeah, it could be a little rotten. Could be a little rotten. Also, uh, I had a look on the workshop. I don't think there is actually a way for me to disable the Chaos Invasion now. I should have just turned it off when I started this campaign, but I didn't think it would actually be dragged out so long um, in terms of, you know, how many turns it's been. Uh, so there'll probably be a Chaos Invasion at some point, and I have no idea. I might just ignore it. We'll see. It'll probably just tear across our empire, and I'll go, yeah, ignore that. Let's focus on us taking over the empire. You know, Vlad could burn, be burnt to cinders by chaos. At least he's fulfilled his dreams. And what more can you ask for? So um, we'll have to tackle that when we come to it. But uh, it's a bit annoying. I hope that I hope we resolve um, our our little narrative before chaos turns up. Because th they bore me. They bore me. Chaos invasion bores me on legendary. It's too many. Too many. Every fight is pretty straightforward. And it's a million fights. But until then, we can just enjoy these fights. So, wish me luck. Alright, so we're going to need to put um, our Blood Knight somewhere out of the way. And other than that, I think we're just going to charge in like a lunatic, right? <laughs> is that the plan? I think it probably is the plan. We have the one unit of normal skeletons. I guess I'll put them in the middle, just for laughs. And the corpse cart can go to one side. Uh, and we're going to make sure we got him in here, actually. My bad. So, I think that's it. I might actually get rid of the corpse cart from the group, just because he's so slow. I mean, 23 speed. You can follow after them. It's fine. Okay, let's move you up and around. Corpse cart can get stuck in. Straight for the Luminarch. Have a chariot fight. And yeah, this is going to sting. That's okay. Uh, they do have a bunch of units coming in, but... If I get to the back here, maybe I can handle this. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, you guys attack that. That's great. A bit weird, aren't you, enemies? Yes, you are. So obviously I don't like that getting shot at much, but... It's okay. Oh my god, run faster. The cavalry. Yeah, let's just move out over there. So we are dealing with that Luminarch, which is great. And nearby units are taking damage. Which I like to see. And now our Blood Knights are getting involved. Which are getting shot at. It's okay. We're going to get in here. Get in behind them. You guys are doing a terrible job. You're bad at your job. You're bad at your job, guys. Okay, I think I need to catch him out. That's annoying. Because you guys need to stay in here. Come on. Keep chasing. Keep on chasing them. And, yep, they are attacking us here, which sucks. Okay, you guys, run off this way, please. Corpse cart in there too. Don't like this much. Don't like this much at all. Please just kill him. Good, good, good. Okay, we're done. We're done. We did it. We've completed the, the game. <laughs> oh, we're going to be here for another long, long time. Trying to whittle these guys down, that's for sure. So, let's get our blood knights healed up. They are our best defense against all these empire knights. Right, they're holding out against the handgunners for now. These handgunners are being chased away indefinitely, which is perfect. Okay, Blood Knights, let's get you out of there for a second. Okay, they've got a Humphrey Froelichman chilling out over here. Mortis Engine's doing a great job. I mean, doing an alright job. 23 kills, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is a big old pile of enemies. I wish we had some spells. 
that we could, you know, land on these guys' doorstep. That'd be great. Okay, let's get you out of here. Come on, I want to heal them up again before I charge them off over this way to deal with all their archers. Come on, guys. Get their kills, please. Alright, I'm going to have to recharge these guys. I need my front line to be prepared. Okay, good. Let's get that recharge. And let's also bolster their attack. Yeah, you can shoot them. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we are keeping their Empire Knights busy. But that's mostly because they're just standing still, which is really lovely. It's really nice of them. Just a bit silly is all. Okay, good. Good, we've handled it. Now you run over that way. And... Got a corpse cart running over that way too. Let's get a rear charge over here. Okay, good. Is that going to be enough to break them? Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay, this is going fine. We're doing great. We're doing great. We should have them. Yep, we're going to handle them nice and quickly. These spearmen are holding out. Yep. Got a solid line here. Got a solid line. Okay, let's make sure these blood knights are fit as a fiddle. Which everyone knows is the healthiest of all of the instruments. I know, what a weird, weird metaphor that is. Fit as a fiddle. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, how are we doing over here? Alright, we're doing okay. Uh, you can buff yourself. Yeah, those are our blood knights. Okay, I guess go for these empire knights. And you lot continue to push forwards. Got a corpse cart helping out over here. There's a big old pile of enemies here, which are bizarrely. Voltmar the Grim is, I'm assuming, he does have his ability. He does have the Jade Griffin, so he is um, replenishing his health as he fights. So, you know, that's fine. That's to be expected. Let's start going for these archers. Because they will start getting a lot of kills, actually, these archers. You know, if we just leave them to it. Oh, Empire Knights being a pain again. And, okay, I don't know where our Lord's gone, so yeah, he's been chasing the enemy. That's what I thought. So you need to get in over there. You need to heal our Blood Knights again, but you're quite a distance away. Which is a pain, but it's a pain that we're going to have to live with. Yeah, you fall back a bit. And yeah, we're going to have Mortis Engine over here now. Ah. Oh, tremendous. And, oh, good. You're just going to sit there. That's fine. So, 225 kills for our Blood Knight so far. Not bad. Not half bad. And we can heal him up some more. Now it's time to get the Mortis Engine in here to start sapping these guys. Uh, so, Voltmar is still fighting, you know. He's still fighting. Let's bolster our Skeleton Spearman over there. Just because we have so, so much magic to use. Okay, keep moving. Let's get into some of these archers, please. Even though I guess these Empire Knights are um, prime for being murdered. Oh, you go kill Voltmar, yeah? And we are still fighting Humphrey over there, but... You know, soon enough. Okay, don't need to shoot those archers. We're going to try and get a terror route over here. Okay, that's what we're going to try and do. Nice rear charge with the terror from the mortis engine. You never know. Could work. And here it comes. Nice rear charge. I was really hoping that one would plummet, but sadly, not yet. Soon. Soon. Almost there. I mean, 147 kills now for the Mortis Engine. It's starting to 
hit that point where a lot of these models are taking a lot of damage, so they're just dying. Which is great news. So, Voltmar's still going. He is still going strong here. It's crazy. Okay, now let's double back this way. Chase off these ranged units a bit. Come on, guys. Just really gotta, gotta chop through them, alright? Might try and get another rear charge. We're over 300 kills now for the Blood Knights. And it looks like Voltmar's finally, finally about had it. Good. Good stuff. Excellent news. So yeah, Blood Knights just crushing it. I can't wait until we have armies that can field like a couple of Blood Knights at least. Just having a couple of them would be amazing. Yeah, almost 200 kills the Mortis Engine as well. Crack it. Perfect victory. Terrific. It's good stuff. Uh, dominate Captives, not going to give us much, but it'll give us something. And now Theodoric Gorsa has finally shown up, and he actually has access to Debbie Griff Knights with Halberds now. Oh, that is brutal. Um, we don't have an answer to Demi Griffs, actually. We have spells, but we, we don't really have an answer to Demi Griff Knights with Halberds, because if we throw our goon squad at them, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, vampresses, you know, that aren't piercing an anti-large, the Demi Griff Knights will tear them to pieces. That's a great counter against us. So that's very scary. I mean, we could bog them down, I guess. We can just bog them down with spearmen forever. And, uh, you know, make sure we have a mortis engine fighting stuff nearby. I guess that's the way to do it. But I think it's just spamming spells on them. But uh, that's scary. That's scary stuff. So yeah, Nordland suddenly players now. And they've just assassinated someone. What? I could have sworn I had a Vampiris in this army, and I just didn't want to say anything, because I thought, like, no, of course I don't. Clearly I don't. But no, I did. I absolutely did. Because so he's been wounded. That's so annoying. Well, we still won anyway, but uh, there we go. Oh, it was plus three. I thought it was plus two. But yeah, plus three melee defense attack for all of our units, including all this cheap rubbish. It means we actually have 50 melee defense on some of our units here, which is awesome. So the Empire really lost out over there. Now, let's get over here and, um, I mean, I could awaken Hockland, but then I'll be in that same position that I was down here, where they act like total jerks. Um, so, you know, although none did survive here, and these guys haven't attacked anyone yet, so, oh no, he's actually in a position to handle these armies, which is terrifying, actually. Um, so we do have access to a bunch of ogres. Or, we could go, like, Sternsman, Claw of Nagash, that kind of thing. I think Sternsman are kind of needed at this point. We need something reliable and anti-infantry. Even if they are ruddy expensive. And... I guess the Chillgeists are pretty good for the armor piercing, but they're not so good for the uh, magic damage. No! Which, obviously, all of the dwarves are going to be able to shrug off 25%, and that's quite a lot of damage to mitigate. You know? So, I think maybe ogres. I think maybe we go with some ogres. Uh, ogres with dual weapons. They should help against the dwarves. Oh, this is going to be pretty scary, isn't it? But yeah, we're handling all this, don't worry. We still have Whistleland somehow, because Carl Franz decided to go for Kemperbad. That makes sense. Okay, so anyway, we're going to try and kill Voldemar. Uh, and then her gig is going to bring in reinforcements, but they're going to be rubbish. Uh, we are going to have to fight this, though. Banner of the Eternal Flame, I'm going to put on the Mortis Engine so everything around it can get bonus damage, which is really fun. But yeah, we are going to have to fight this, sadly. But so be it. Okay, so this doesn't seem too intimidating right now. It's going to take us weeks to get to them. It's going to take us absolutely weeks to get here. They had to pull at the back of the map, didn't they? Of course they did. Also, can I just say, I hate this. I absolutely hate this. When you have inf like injured units, just make sure that the depth is what remains consistent. You know, not the width. Okay, Three Kingdoms does it properly. But this is just stupid. Like, this is not a formation. It's just not. Okay, have the depth. So that way I can draw a line and it's uniform at all times. That's all they have to do. 
So, uh, Corpse Cart is going to be loitering behind everybody. That simple. Okay. You don't go that way. You not. Well, Corpse Cart, just run in, and we're going to fast forward, because this is going to take us weeks. I hope they come and attack us. They're not going to, though, are they? Because we attack them. Whenever you're ready, boys. Okay. Why are you so much in the lead? That's very weird. <laughs> you're weird that you're in the lead. I know! <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Just leave, okay, Mortis Engine? Like, you're in a locked group, and you are in... With all of them, and he just runs off. It's so weird. I don't know what he was doing. Strange boy. Well, our Lord is under attack now. Oh, we do scab scrap. That's fun. Let's hit them. That was fun. And, uh, yeah, just get you up and around. Everyone else going to charge in like a lunatic? What more do you want? You know, what more can you ask for? Yeah, you keep chasing. And, yeah, you go up and around. Perfect. Okay. Cross Bowman, you run that way. Uh, you know, good where you are. You guys are fine, all blobbed up, I guess. It's not that they have any spellcasters, you don't have to worry about blobbing up, really. Now, let's heal our Blood Knights as they're fighting. Yep, keep chasing them forever, sounds good. And so, um... Voltmar is coming for us. I'm not that concerned. I think we'll be fine. I now have 134 melee attack. Come here, Voltmar. <laughs> Come here, lad. I am ready for you. Or maybe not. We are not even scratching him. Come on, mate. Hit him. Mortis engine. Thank you. Finally attempting to swing. You didn't you didn't hit him. It's embarrassing, okay? That's what it is, it's embarrassing. You has been wiped out, of course he has. Little jerk. It's fine. We'll get him with the blood knights. We'll get him with the blood knights. Oh, another scab's grath. Brilliant. Uh, I guess I'll aim over here. And uh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, over here next. I want all them shut down. I mean, we're still going. It's fine. Okay, now I'll just break them. Come on. There we go. And now we'll come down here and kill Bobma. Charm shield's pretty good. Good stuff. Alright, what's up your melee attack? 70 melee attack, got good anti-large. Volta already just... I don't know if you saw that, but his health just like plummeted from that charge. It went down very quick. So, that should do it. Good. Uh, so we still got these guys over there chasing their range units about, which I think is funny, so... <laughs> But yeah, we're doing some good damage to Voltmar now. Wonderful. Alright, another 30 seconds. We can do another Van Hell's Dance Macabre. Uh, oh, don't need it. We can we can just bolster all their melee attack by 40 with this Staff of Damnation. It's a great staff. Like, as far as staffs go... Oh, it's it's up there. That's for sure. It's up there. Yeah, Voltmar's just getting murdered to bits. Sucks to be him. So, army losses should kick in soon, I think. Once we've dealt with him. Oh, he's shattered. Good. Now, let's speed up our boys. Okay, so speed of 88 against uh, their 78. Should be able to keep on him. I guess we don't need to actually kill him, but um, it's just nice to prove that we can. Decisive victory. Okay, we did lose a skeleton, but... 
It's okay, there's plenty more skeletons in the sea. Except they all belong to the Vampire Coast. Oh no. What a problem. Uh, now we're fine. Uh, let's dominate the captives. Yep, you better fall over. Got a charmed shield. Lovely, I was admiring that item. So, her gig, uh, we amazingly can't do anything about. Which is uh, silly. Oh, I can do something about it. No, I can't. No, yeah, we can't afford anything that has a siege attacker. Um, and we can't quite reach that either. That's annoying. Finally got Grenstadt and Mingle Vong Barak. Migdal Vong Barak. Vongle Barak. Migdal Vongle Barak. Got destroyed. Got there eventually. Uh, so that's fantastic. Averheim finally pulling their ways. So I guess if we do these battles, then I can raise a Vargulf, which will allow me to take Hergig this turn. I am going to take it. I'm going to take this and Brass Keep. This is going to be another one of our territories. Okay. I've decided. We've, we've tried to get these guys back in working order many many times it's just gonna have to it's, it's just gonna have to be happy okay it's gonna have to be happy under my direct control we could always rename a burke you know obviously we can't rename wolfram hertwig we already are pretending that this guy is a elect account but you know it's fine uh so underling host is done so actually ooh, do you want to get waking dead so my blood knights be better they're already performing brilliantly but giving them an extra 12, oh, 12 armor and 8 melee attack. It's going to be 12 melee attack. That'd be huge. But no, I think that'd be great. But I think getting some more magic would be very good. Because we can't get Flock of Doom. And I love Flock of Doom. It's a great one to spam. It's a nice spammable ability, which I really enjoy. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get... Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you there, buddy? I have no idea. That's fine, I guess. Um, okay. Oh no. You're going to attack uh, Richter Gladscheiser. Okay, old, old Richter Happy Poops. So, he's he can't be happy about his poops. So I guess we're going to ta attack Alaric Radolfsson. He also doesn't want to fight. But hopefully this means we can catch out Richter. Find me, Channel Pits. Looks like we can. Good. So at least we'll get one of the armies, and hopefully this will pay for a Vargulf for us, and then we can Vargulf it up fun time. Brilliant. Uh, close victory, low casualties. Can I be bothered to fight this? The thing is how we need to fight another battle. There might be, like, Karl Franz might attack Nuln and give us a good opportunity to fight him back. I think, I think we're going to have to fight this. I think we need to be efficient here. I think we need to be efficient. So we're going to have to fight it. Okay. So this is pretty tasty. Pretty tasty army. I've got to say, like, Oh No has done great for us. You know, I never I never really uh, expected him to do much. He was always supposed to be just like a babysitter with an army of, of cheap skeletons, you know. But he has performed wonderfully for us. I mean, it certainly helped that he's had these uh, two vampire, you know, vampiresses with him. But still, even so, it, uh, yeah, feels like a winner to me. Feels like a winner. I don't know what that guy's doing on his own. Makes me assume there are marksmen over there. Just a hunch. Let's go murder them. Uh, so this free company will be shooting at us, which would be a pain. That's okay. Uh, we're going to see if we can't get some cheeky shots in. So let's get over here. They are they are moving back and forth quite a bit, which is a bit annoying. I'd quite like to hit them with some spells, but I can't if they insist on moving. All right, good stuff. I'll help whittle them down. Now let's go chase these guys down. Blood knights, kill him, please. Thanks. Ah, there they are. There's the Huntsman. Okay, let's get some more magic. And, oh, you could put a Pit of Shade somewhere, maybe. It'd be a laugh. Let's go kill their Lord. Oh, I thought I told you to attack him, but I guess I must have uh, got that bit wrong. That's okay. Um, 
don't think we really need to use that on him, but I will. Okay, I'm going to ignore him. Okay, we're going to ignore that guy. Good. Hang on. I selected you. Rude. So yeah, we are dealing with that guy pretty effectively. We're keeping most of their ranged units busy over here. And now... Let's wipe out most of their front line as well. <laughs> and yeah, that guy. Yeah, you can fight skeletons. Good job, mate. Proud of yourself? You're, you're proud of that? Okay, I would love to do that, but I don't want to get my um, x rays caught up in all of that mess. Okay, do the job. Uh, I guess you should come over here. Stop chasing them. You guys stay on those units. And <laughs> yeah, it's happening exactly as I thought. We ignore them. Oh, there's the Sternsmen. I guess the Sternsmen keep chasing that way. That's fine. Let's go handle them. I think... Oh, we killed their hero over there. Yeah, I think that's it then. I think that's a win. That was very straightforward. Just bullying him now. Go with a fireball as well. Cool. We never did use the Tormentor Sword either. So, you know. We still have plenty of tools that we didn't even didn't even need using. Kinda of feel sorry for them now. But I'm glad they're dead. So that's lovely. Let's dominate some captives. Nice fourteen percent replenishment. And then keel over. Sadly, can't quite reach this jerk. Which is a pity. He is suffering attrition for standing there, though, which is nice. The idea of just nudging him into somewhere he's taking attrition is, is quite it's quite good. Quite like that. Uh, let's go wild-eyed. Cool. So we dealt with them. That is Gelt's forces down again, which is good. Uh, I might command you lot to go get Festus Spike, actually. Because I'd quite like to take Steingart, so I will be pushing this way with Ono. Um, Vlad can get that next turn. Uh, Rom Hilda can, I guess, just defend that area. Um, Isabella von Karstein, we do need to do something with. And I am immune to untainted attrition now, which is awesome. Love that. And we can get... Okay, we can get some Crypt Horrors now. I was hoping to get a Virgo, but we can get Crypt Horrors. So that is enough. It's actually cheaper upkeep, so... That means we can take her gig now. So this is mine. I'm not going to liberate him. Okay, we're just going to take it. Okay, we played that game long enough. We were having to constantly, like, you know... Yeah, we're just going to just gonna not. Uh, Vols from Hertwig uh, can give Guardian. Really? That's strange. So he can help out other heroes. That is very benevolent. How about that? Um, unfortunately, we already lost that vampire that was helping him out. So yeah, I guess we're just going to go with Curse of Undeath. So whenever he casts anything, everyone gets some healing. It's jolly useful, that. Uh, this stuff is all good, though. Oh, that's fun. Free fell bats. Having free fell bats is fun. That helps out Vargeists. And yeah, Storm of the Night is good against flying units. That's going to be useful when fighting just Karl Franz and Boris Toddbringer over and over again. So that's good news. Quite like that. But yeah, Karl Franz is going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, he says he's not, but he is, believe me. Alright, so Isabella. Yeah. Ugh, this is tricky. I don't really want her to just, like, run in this way on her own. But we don't really have any territory that we could, like, loiter in. Um, I can't just loiter by Klugenheim, but as long as this guy's got two armies, he's going to cheese us. You know? He's going to cheese the hell out of us. I mean, you know the drill by now, guys. You know, one army attacks the settlement, and the other army attacks whatever happens to be stood outside the settlement. And then both armies get to double-team the one outside. It's, um, yeah, so cheesy. And in some ways realistic, but mostly rubbish in a gameplay perspective. I've spoken about it earlier this campaign. Um, you know my thoughts on it. It just favours the attacker, which is dumb. Um, stuff shouldn't favour the attacker. You should have an inherently, like... An inherent bonus from trying to defend your lands. That's how you stop snowballing in a game like this. You know, it's how you stop having a bunch of mega empires running around. Everything dies. 
That's a bother. I can, um, can't quite reach him. But hey, Isabella's got Ambusher, which is cool. I kind of figured she had that already, but nope. So that's nice. Also, better hero uh, recruit rank for vampires and necromancers, thanks to blasphemous disciples. As a vampire grows in dark majesty, others of evil intent will flock to this master, for they also crave power. Spooky. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep um, sort of crawling forwards. God, you just aren't that great, are you? No, you are not. Which is a good thing. Because I think that'll tempt... Oh, where's he gone? Oh, no. Hopefully this will tempt... Um, Carl Franz to us. I think he might have gone for Talapheim. Perhaps. That would be upsetting. Because this sort of army probably can't defeat him. Um... God, is a problem. Can you not be at war with Eringrad? That'd be great if you could do that. Thanks. Uh, Castle Von Rorkin, we're probably going to lose. Especially because I can't afford anything. Ugh. Yeah, I just heard like a da -da 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 that sounded like machine gun fire. Do you have a machine gun? <laughs> Sounds like it. Can't reach him. That is really frustrating. I can reach that, though. But him just sort of loitering about, he could easily just take over Kragmere, and this could just waste all of our time. It is nice. Alright, you go over there. Let's take Karagdroma. Okay, he's gonna occupy it. Fine. More vampiric corruption. Lovely. And, uh, I can't really afford to get anything for it anyway. So, let's level you up, buddy. Let's get, uh, yeah, let's get you better at fighting. Let's get you quick blood. Good. That's what I'd like to see. Okay, let's only deal with this guy. He takes Steingart back. Uh, Fort Sol I want to take after Fester Spike. Okay, he's on the wrong side of the tracks here. So I think we just need to head towards Steingart and see where this guy ends up. He might attack more of our allies, but... Could our allies... No, nope, our allies have no hope of fighting him, do they? No. It's a problem. Okay, tell you what. Uh... Let's go here. Then go. Okay, it's going to take us another turn to get to Steingart anyway, so I'll go here. Ambush. We might get lucky. If not, so be it. We'll just take Steingart next turn anyway. We haven't lost anything for, for attempting this. So, um, it's win-win, I'd say. Uh, let's go for further. Good. Okay, is that everybody? I think that's everybody. And yeah, Wolfram isn't going to move. He's going to hold out here for a bit, because I can't really afford to push forwards. Although, it would be nice to take Brass Keep, though I can't afford to, so it doesn't matter. Okay, research available. Let's get this one. This is, uh, fewer casualties suffer from non-vampiric territory attrition. That's, um, ridiculous. I should have got that ages ago. Because now it's pointless, because we've got the other thing that gives us 100%, um, you know, like 100% protection from non-vampiric territory attrition. So that's very silly. Very silly indeed. So extra weapon strength for crypt ghouls. That's quite fun. Campaign movement range up. Sounds good, actually. Let's do that. Let's head to that one. That'll take ten turns. Great. Okay, let's move on. Oh, check it out. Sterling's actually doing pretty well. Sterling's actually doing all right here. They're managing to whittle away some of Karl Franz's, like, tertiary forces there. That's really good. Damage walls failure. How dare you. <gasps> so, garrison success. How dare you. So, Karl Franz still loitering here. Uh, he's probably going to wipe out Sterling here. Uh, but that's okay. We're keeping Franz busy. And we are going to be whittling him down, you know? So I have a feeling this might, maybe, maybe, be able to compete with this army. Maybe. If we can get the ambush. So I'm going to continue to inch forwards, I think. Okay, from forest to forest, make sure our ambush chance is always high. Because I think having all the vampires just go straight in for Karl Franz. And we have all of our Vargeists, you know, dive on top of their right guard. That armor piercing should get a really good initial chunk of damage. 
I also have to be uh, sure to use spells cleverly. So Gelt is here. No, you are. I can see you. Uh, and Adoric is still being a pain. I would like to have ambushed him, but... I guess I can't be picky, can I? Gotta take what I can get. So, we're gonna attack here at some point. Not just yet, but soon. Uh, sadly, I think Oh No already defeated Gelt, so he'll get a uh, bonus. Um, okay, I actually have no idea where that Skaven is. I don't know where they went. Hopefully they ran off, but they might not have, but I guess just from Hill they'll have to deal with it. Um, for now, though, we need to get Vlad over here. But yeah, we've already defeated Balthazar with Oh No, so he got the armor bonus. You know, that trait for additional armor. It'd be nice if Vlad could get that, but... Eh. It is what it is. It'll do. So, I could take Middenstag. Actually. I could give that a go. I could attempt that. Which I am tempted to do, but I think I might just have to try and defend this area while Franz is roaming the countryside, you know? I also feel like, nope, that's all trash. I'm not sure I can be bothered with that. Do I just get some zombies, actually? Do I just get some zombies just to help pad things out in an ambush, you know? Just can have them there. They can exist. I don't know. Is that worthwhile? A couple of skeletons. Skeletons don't cost anything. Amazingly, zombies do. <laughs> we'll just do that so we got something else in the army, okay? We'll just do that. Okay, now Steingart, we are going to attack. Let's do it. Alright. Wow. The hell. I don't think I've ever seen the weather change on this map before. Like, ever. Have you ever seen this? It looks amazing. I love it. Hi guys. Making a lot of noise. Also, a, a, a huge amount of you have eye patches. Okay, I say a huge amount. Like, three or four of them. There's a couple there. You know, a couple over here got eye patches. Oh, he's got eye patches. I mean, even just five... Five people out of 24. I mean, 24, that's just like a, a class at school. For five of them to have lost an eye. You've really got to... You've really got to worry about their upbringing, you know? And, and yes, I say that because ogres look like big babies. And uh, so I treat them as such. Anyway, let's get you guys lined up. I don't care if Sternsmen are on one side and, you know, whatever else. We can we can load one end with too much stuff and not have enough on the other. That's fine. There's some weird terrain here that's stopping me from deploying how I want. So, whatever. You guys do you. Um, you can actually join group one. Thank you. Uh, I suppose you should as well. And you. You guys can go in your own group. So you go in group one, you guys go in your own group, and you guys go in group one. Good. Alright. Go get them, boys. Go get them. You guys go over that way. You guys go over that way. But yeah, this looks amazing. It's amazing just how much of a difference it makes just to change the weather. I mean, this whole map just has a very different vibe to it now. I gotta say, it is. It is sick. Absolutely stunning. Marvellous. Uh, although, I would prefer it if this glow, this sort of fog glow, this sort of distance fog, reflected the lighting a bit better. Because, you know, the reason you get that is because light is catching on the dust and things. But it would give it a bit of an orange vibe if that were the case. Although, actually, I guess that would just be a black silhouette at this distance, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot darker from this. Either way, this lighting doesn't quite make sense. It's very atmospheric, but it still doesn't feel quite natural. But, whatever. Oh my word, this is golden. Alright, let's um, let's get here as quickly as possible, please. Yeah. Excellent. Now get over here. Okay, now get over here. I need you to jump down there. Because you can pin them all in place for a second. While I hit them with one of these. What? 
And here it comes. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's exciting. Yeah, that went quite well, didn't it? So 222 kills and 389 kills. Not bad. Not bad. I will take it. I will take it. And uh, let's keep going. <laughs> See, what the absolute hell is going on here? Unbelievable. So nice of them. That was just... It's just mean. Oh, that's also mean. Ah, oh, no. You know I'm a magic boy. Rude. Alright, let's go kill Gelt. Yeah, we wiped out most of his army. I mean, we basically made a carpet of corpses here. What a great band name. Uh, we made a carpet of corpses. And now... We can all get stuck in over here, huh? Yeah, you guys are doing lovely. Proud of you. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Uh, we've almost killed Gelt. You suffered some damage, so let's heal you up. Hit him with a fireball from point blank if you'd like to. You might not do it, but you might. Sometimes, nah, he's not going to. Sometimes they get a bit, uh, a, a bit ambitious with things like fireballs, and they will just blast people point blank. They're not supposed to, but they often do. So, you know, I'm not going to tell them no. Okay, good. Hit with spirit leech. Hit with a fireball. generally being a jerk. Uh, so there we go. That's Gelt gone. There we go. I was wondering when uh, <laughs> when the victory thing was going to show up, because they definitely suffered army losses. But yeah, good old uh, good old fight, that. Decisive victory. See, so yeah, that went quite well. Uh, our girls got a couple of kills. <laughs> they did okay. Um, right. Let's uh, occupy it. Just occupy it. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Let's go with the money one. Money, money, money. Look at that. Our income is amazing. 1,300. Rolling in money. We have such a terrible economy. Uh, oh no, Von Falkenstein. Let's get you something fun, like Wind of Death improved. Not that we ever really use it. Prefer the ladies using their spells. Wind of Death just costs too much. You know? It's just like, okay, I've done my spell for today. That's, yeah, it feels like you're done. Uh, so I think that's it for the turn, isn't it? I think that's it for the turn. And as such, that's it for the episode. But we're making progress, I think? Yes, well, we, we've cleaned up over here. So now Vlad and Isabella are heading to the front line again. And Wolfram now has, like, a, a fairly good army. Ono is doing well. So, like, we've got four armies all moving in roughly the same direction for the first time in a while. So, yeah, we're doing okay. Although, um, Chaos may turn up at any minute. And I didn't actually find a mod that turns off the Chaos Invasion. So, yeah. We've got to keep an eye on that. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with it. Ugh. We may deal with it. We'll, I'll figure something out. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, come and like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.